What's going on guys? Welcome to Kitchen Films. My name is Pedro and I'm a filmmaker based in Los Angeles. Today we're going to be talking about how to make some passive income from renting out your gear on ShareGrid. Maybe you're a filmmaker or a photographer and you have some extra gear lying around that you might want to rent out but not sure anyone would actually rent it because you don't have an Alexa package or the new RED camera. Well, you might be surprised. I don't have anything like that either and I've gotten a surprising number of bookings for what I'm actually renting. And by the way, this video is not in any way sponsored by ShareGrid. I am not being paid to make this video. So you know that the information you're about to see is 100% true and just my personal experience using ShareGrid. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you my listings, how much money I've made from them, and my general experience using ShareGrid and if I would recommend it for you guys. Let's jump right in. Okay guys, so this is my listing here. You have your name, a little profile picture here, and it kind of says where you're based. So if we scroll down, here are my listings. So we'll kind of just go over them and we'll start up here. These are my moment lenses. They are iPhone lenses and a little camera package. So if we click on the listing here, um, you can see I rent it out for $75 a day and $225 for the week. So you create your listing and then you put up kind of the profile picture for it here. And, and then I have a couple of pictures here. So it's an anamorphic lens, a tele lens, I have a wide lens and a macro lens uh, down here. You just kind of give details about it and um, the replacement value for it. So this is actually the listing that gets booked the most for me i've had the most success with this one surprisingly then to go back i have a recording studio which is my current office right now I have not had any luck renting this out i have a steady cam rig here haven't had any luck renting this one out either i imagine because if you're renting a steady cam rig you want a steady cam operator to come with it and that's just not me then over here, I have a 14 foot gorilla ladder only for 15 bucks a day. Um, haven't had any luck renting this one out. Don't really expect to, but doesn't hurt to just have it up. Then this is my main shooting camera, my Blackmagic 6K, a uh, full rig with Sigma lenses. So if we click on it, you have the main profile picture here when people are searching. And then if they click on the listing, they can kind of see um, some other pictures. And then down here, you list everything that comes with it. So it comes with the camera, obviously, the cage, uh, two Sigma lenses, the 18 to 35 and the 50 to 100, um, the card, and then a couple of other little gadgets. So it's a full complete rig and I have it for $170 a day or 510 for the entire week. I actually just put this listing up because I got my full rig recently. So I haven't rented this out just yet, but as you can see, people have already seen the listing and two people are currently watching it, which means they have shown some interest. So let's go back. Then this is my Freefly Movi Stabilizer for iPhone or Android. Um, kind of a paired listing almost with my iPhone lenses. You kind of just got some generic images from Google searches. Um, I rent this one out for $28 a day or $85 for the whole week. And then it just comes with the counterweights and the movie itself. I've rented this one out also. And then back to my listings down here. Um, this one's actually on private right now. I don't currently have this with me. And then if you want to rent the my Sigma lenses, separate from the entire package. I also have a separate listing for that. So it might be smart if people only want one thing of your package, it might be smart to create a different listing for it. So people have that option. So you can go on this listing and you can see I rent out the 18 to 35 and the 50 to 100 EF mount Sigma lenses for $48 a day or 144 for the entire week. So you can see it's got a couple picks up and then this is the main profile one. Um, and then the replacement value you put up here. Uh, again, just a little description here. And then that's it for my listings. Now let's jump into how much money I've made from them. So as you can see here, 
Uh, these are my lists. These are uh, my payouts. And it started on January 11th, 2020. And then obviously COVID happened and I wasn't expecting to get any bookings for the entire year. But as you can see, I did. So as you can see, the only thing that really gets rented on my page um, are the iPhone lenses. Now you wouldn't think iPhone lenses would get a lot of booking requests, but as you can see, more than I thought. Um, this is how much I've made, $63.75 from each booking. Uh, this one was $93.50 because they got the iPhone lenses and the Freefly Movie Stabilizer. So made a little extra on this one, which was sweet. So in total, I've already calculated it to save time, $476 from my listings, which is actually more than the cost of the entire lens package itself. So I've made the entire cost of buying these back and haven't really done anything. It's been passive income. I've been at home, people rent it out and bring it back to me. And I've made the entire cost of it back. So now that you've seen my listing and how much I've made, let's talk general experience. I've never really had a bad experience using ShareGrid. My renters have always picked up the gear on time and returned it back to me on schedule. I've never had anything damaged or stolen. Fingers crossed it stays that way. But up until now, I've only had good experiences. So would I recommend it? Yes. If you have some extra gear lying around and you want to make some passive income, throw it up on ShareGrid. If it gets rented, great, extra money. If not, no harm, no foul. So if you want to join ShareGrid to rent something because they have everything film and photography related that you can possibly think of, or to rent out gear yourself, or to buy or sell gear, that's another thing that you can do on ShareGrid is buy or sell anything film and photography related. And obviously ShareGrid will take their percentage of every sale and rental. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yes, they take a small percentage. I think it's like 10%, something like that, of every sale or rental that uh, happens on their site. So keep that into consideration when uh, making your prices that ShareGrid does take a small percentage of every rental. Anyway, if you want to join, I'm going to include my link in the description below. You will get $20 off your first rental off ShareGrid. So in terms of payout, once you get your rental back, you go through a checklist that says you received everything back and everything is working properly. Once you're done with that, the money will be direct deposited into your bank account in three to five business days. So the payout is also pretty seamless. So that's everything for today, guys. I hope this video helps. If you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks, guys.